Robin. Let's begin. During the class trial, you if you vote correctly, then I'll punish every I'm sure you whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. I'm going to be the one who avenges him. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? Uh, Akane, you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? We weren't able to leave Strawberry House, so I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Um, I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower for Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Imbecile! I am not some woman with flexible legs! Uh, of course you're not! With legs like those, I could probably do the splits real easy. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House. And then... The three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. We heard the body discovery announcement too, from Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which... So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Forget these boring intros. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. One of you better hurry up and confess, or I'll break all of you in half! You're the cruelest one here! Now, now, enough with the lovers' quarrels. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Huh? Well, the weapon is obvious, right? Huh? What the heck, you guys? The weapon! You can totally tell just by looking. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the... That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! If it was unexpected as a... That's right! It was a surprise beating! The weapon is decided! I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hand and beat the crap out of it! If it was unexpected as a po- That's right! It was a surprise beat! The weapon is decided! I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That killer, huh? No, the hand! The killer used and beat the crap out of him! Damn it! I guess we should figure out the- The weapon was right there to- That killer! No! The hammer! The killer used the- And beat the crap out! If it was unexpected as- That's right! It was a surprise beating! The weapon is decided! I guess- The weapon was right there to s that pillar. No, the hip! The killer used that and beat the crap out of him! If it was unexpected- That's right! It was a surprise beating! Damn it! I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there! That pillar, huh? 
No, the hammer! The killer used that and beat the crap out of him! Damn it! I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! Killer, huh? No, the hand the killer used and beat the crap up. No, that's wrong. No, I can't accept that that hammer was the murder weapon. Why not? A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body, just like human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. But that hammer was clean. Yeah, but killer might have wiped off the oil later. Why? Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. You're pretty insightful, baby gangster. Baby gangster? Me? Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. I thought, maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. Seems that was a waste of time. Then what was the real weapon used to murder Nekomaru? That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the... I see! The only thing with oil on it is that broken pillar. Then that pillar is the weapon! Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Why? We tried to move it, right? Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body! So, he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean, Nekomaru killed himself? Don't be stupid! He's the type to commit suicide! Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all! Well, I guess you're right. What the heck?! But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Huh? Yes, for reals. I see. So my gut was right after all. All right, it's up to you, Sonya. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Sonya, here I go! There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a- What about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonya, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is- What about tipping the pillar over? No, that's wrong! If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed him, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. 
I, I see. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you going to focus on the pillar? There, there's no way I can let it go. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you. You guys, the same as usual. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito. What the hell happened to you? How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill! Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course, the ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon? Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon. I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst. It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon. No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon, since you wield your four dark devils of destruction. I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Huh? This you still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Except for Hajime? If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway. We must first clarify the secret of the Funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the Funhouse. Strawberry House leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the Central Tower. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the Funhouse! Man... Not only does that make perfect sense... Full show! In truth, Strawberry are actually the exact same place! So that's the secret. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both. I mean, the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are... We've already said I'll give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. In truth, stop by actually the exact... No, that's wrong. Both of those towers, are they really the same place? What? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. I mean, doesn't it seem strange? When we went to Great Tower from Great Hall, Nekomaru's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Great Hall. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. If it is, then see? That means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building. Bow down! 
Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together during that time. Then Monokuma did it. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there's no bread, let them eat cake. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a cut doing. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Moving the pillar, the body, he could have moved it all. Easy as pie. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. The pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. He could have moved it all. Easy as pie. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the future is the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene? Crap! It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. The pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene? Crap! It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, building the propeller, the body, everything at the cl Allow me to cut through those words! Moving the body and pillar is possible, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? When the position of Nekomaru's body and the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I, I am terribly sorry. It's all right. So what really happened? Hmm. We can't be certain of that either. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building or two different buildings, then what are they? No idea, huh? Hey, I thought it would come to this. Fine. I'll tell you guys a big hint. Give us the answer, but then it wouldn't mean anything. It's also important for me because it will help me... determine something. know your hint is any good. I have a good reason for that. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. I see! You're talking about the final dead room, right? You cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. At an opportune time, 
I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. You took a picture? Yep. See? This is it. Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House, from the secret room within the final dead room. But, don't you think it's weird? If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Then let's begin. The structure of the fun house is what we thought it was. Grape house and strawberry house should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from strawberry house, you should see grape house behind it. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no grape house at all. I see. And is that it? You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room, right? If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, it should have been. Then, this is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too even though he's just a normal high school student. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already? The top floor? So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean?
It's all coming together! Got it. I know the secret of the funhouse. Then let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. So where did Grape House go? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building? Different floors? Then, the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. They're actually one six-story building? If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. On top of Grape House. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap! I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. But what about the shape of the building? Um. Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. Overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we had perceived them. And it worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower, we fully believed the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. In order to conceal the unique design of the funhouse, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. You've just been kuma <laughs> Then it's true? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? H how horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Aw, your precious hammies don't know? But it's so simple! Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash! Oh, I see. I'll definitely make her watch me! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy! You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a. You're a magnificent Gundam! No fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was the fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! Then hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy! Damn it! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies, it was actually a dummy! Damn it! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! Then hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers... ...was actually a dummy! No, that's wrong! Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. 
Remember? When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, we thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grape Tower, right? The killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> Miss Sonia... You are joking, right? It's alright. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see. I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor? You can't think of a device like that? talking about an elevator. What? Are you saying that- Where the hell is this elevator anyway? It's the tower itself. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room, right? So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. <sighs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you... If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. <laughs> there are too many strange things. When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? So, let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on, what does everything that hasn't changed have in common? Safe to 
to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? The reason is because the elevator has something unique about it. Elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator, only the floor was. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, the different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Then, where do the different floors lead? I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. Just for show, so we falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. <laughs> Wait, there's no way that's gonna happen. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall, but so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's... What a pain. Gundam, please proceed. You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, which means the answer me, fiend! What does this mean?
If the two house. The elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, and if the contact elevator, the towers are in opposite directions. Damn it! If the two houses are the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, if the contact out the towers are in, which means you're it's clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? If the two houses are the elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. No, that's wrong. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? It, come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah, it was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. It was probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. Well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these Holy humans! So we're done with the secret of the funhouse, right? What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the octagon, you know? What is the octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my... I can't believe I have to explain that now. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's basically the gist of it. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Learned? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the funhouse. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery and then thought of a way to kill making use of the building structure. The funhouse itself is the weapon, so they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime!
Okay, everyone, all together now. Monami is a serious stoofatly. 